Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Grain Steel. So uh, this morning's episode is going to be strictly about Plow Day. I've got all the information about Plow Day. Uh, Jeff Fields and I got together yesterday, and my dad, and we talked about it, and we've got everything cleared up on how everything is going to happen. So uh, there are a few rules to Plow Day. Um, everybody has to plow the same depth. I don't want somebody plowing a foot deep and then we've got somebody else that's, you know, trying to plow, you know, six inches deep and trying to be in that guy's foot deep furrow. That's not going to happen. Everybody is to be at the same depth, um, which will probably be around six inches probably. So uh, any tractor can come, any size of plow can come. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, really, age of tractor, horsepower, size, we're not worried about it, any tractor can come. We have plenty of ground to plow. We've got 75 acres at my grandpa's place where plow day is gonna be, and I've got a map drawn up how to get there and an address. Um, once we're done there, we've got a 100 acre field straight south of my grandpa's, just down the road a little ways. We don't have to travel that far down the road. In fact, you can leave your truck and trailer at my grandpa's place, and it's not that far. So we've got a 100-acre field there, and there's a couple other smaller fields there that we can plow. So we've got plenty of ground to plow, so that's no issue. Um, <clears throat> no alcohol, please. Um, gators, Polaris Rangers, golf carts, four-wheelers, they're all welcome. But you are responsible for any accidents that could happen or caused by them. So just keep that in mind. We are not responsible for any accidents. I was told to make that clear in the video. Um, we have plenty of parking. My grandpa's got a nice grass barnyard. I uh, just ask that you respect the, the grass, of course. Um, I know everybody will. Um, if anybody... Uh, wants to bring a pet, please put it on a leash, clean up after it, you know, just the common courtesy things. So uh, anyways, I've got a map drawn up, I've got the address on the map, I've got my phone number on there. If you call me and I don't answer, please leave a voicemail. I can't hear my phone all the time. If I don't answer, please leave a voicemail. Or you can shoot me a text, or you can get a hold of me on Facebook or comment in the YouTube comments and I will get back to you. But uh, probably the easiest way to get a hold of me is just shoot me a text real quick or Facebook Messenger or whatever and I will reply. If uh, you don't get the address from my uh, poster board I drew up, contact me and I'll make sure you get it. So uh, everybody is welcome. Uh, you can either watch, you can participate, do whatever. I suggest you bring some lawn chairs or something like that. Um, so let's go look at the map real quick. I'll go over the map, I'll tell you how to get there. Very easy to get to, but we'll look on the map. Oh, and I almost forgot. I almost forgot this. Um, Jeff will have his 3020 and loader down there, and I'm going to bring my T300 Bobcat and forks. So if anybody needs help unloading a plow, loading a plow back up, we will be able to do that. Um, between the T300 and the 3020, we should be able to pick up a, a eight bottom plow, no problem. I know my T300 will pick up a five bottom plow with no issue. So we've got plenty of lifting power. If you want to bring a big plow on a trailer, we'll get it off the trailer for you and get it back on the trailer. So and uh, probably have some tools with me. So if we need to do a repair, we've got stuff on hand. So uh, let's go look at the map now. Okay, so we're over here at uh, my parts washer slash drafting table. And uh, this is our map here. We have US 35 right here. Knox is over here. Heading this way, let's move this over a little bit. This is actually north. So Knox will be north. And then we got Winnemac South on 35. So uh, 800 North is the county line, Stark County, Plasky County line. You have the JK Deli right here on the corner. So what you're gonna do, and this map is not to scale at all. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down 35 from either direction. You're gonna turn down the county line and you're gonna take it to 200 West. 
you're going to turn on 200 west and my grandpa's farm is right here um there's a field along here this is the north field this is the south field uh we're going to start in the south field we're going to plow it and then we're going to plow the north field uh this is grandpa's basically homestead right here and this is grandpa's address my phone number right here so if you want to screenshot that or whatever however you want to do it but that is grandpa's physical address and my phone number so i'll let that let you look at that for a few seconds here okay now this is kind of a real rough draft of grandpa's farm so you're going to be coming in the second driveway. The first driveway is over here. This is the driveway to his house. You're going to be coming in the second driveway. This is the driveway we bring all of our equipment in. Um, there's parking up here. You could park just vehicles up here. But if you've got a truck and trailer and a plow and tractor, I suggest you come in. And in here is the barnyard that we always park our equipment. It's good firm ground. You can park in there and unload there. And anybody, well, we'll fill that up first, and then uh, we'll come back here behind the house. There's kind of a sandier, small field that we're not going to plow. We don't mess with that because it blows. So uh, even out here, we can park. Um, anybody that brings a crawler, I uh, recommend that you go ahead and come out here. And then we don't have to worry about tearing the grass up. When I take the MC, I'm going to bring it out here and do all my stuff out here, put, hooking my plow up and stuff. And also, you can uh, come in here, too, and park stuff, because we're going to plow all this, just as long as your truck and trailer is out of the way and whatnot. But, uh, like I said, this is not to scale or anything, so this, this really isn't that big an area, but we've got plenty of parking out here. But I just wanted to stress, if you are bringing a crawler tractor on steel tracks, I'd appreciate if you just come on through and come out to the field out here, and we'll unload out there. And I'll keep the T300 Bobcat out here so we're not tearing the grass up, and Jeff can unload stuff up here with this 3020. Um, <clears throat> if you're interested in bringing a tractor the night before or the day before or whatever, uh, let me know for sure. And I know Jeff is going to be down there, um, I believe, Friday night, late afternoon, Friday night. He's going to be unloading some equipment down there, so he'll be down there. And if you call me, I'll definitely come down, and um, we'll get you unloaded. So, And it's a safe spot. Nobody's going to bother anything if you want to bring it the night before so you're ready for Saturday morning. Because I don't know if I mentioned, but... It starts at 9 o'clock Saturday morning. I'm sorry, I don't think I, I said that right off the bat. But Saturday morning, 9 o'clock, is when we're going to start. So uh, if you could be there by that time, that would be great. I know some guys probably can't make it there that soon. And if you come a little later, that's all right. We'll work you in too. But we're going to have a uh, field meeting at 9 o'clock Saturday morning. So, uh, yeah. So, and the last rule is everybody have fun and enjoy themselves. Um, I've got four batteries for the drone. Clifton is going to be running the drone. Clifton is under no compensation, by the way. He's there for free. He's going to be running the drone. Um, I've got him four batteries, so that'll get us so oh, a little over, about two hours worth of drone footage. Um, I'm going to be videoing it. It'll be on YouTube. So I'll probably plow a round or two, and then I'll get off the MC, and I'll do some video work. Um, so, and it, when you come, come find me, introduce yourself, because I know a lot of you from the comments on YouTube and stuff, if you come from YouTube, but I don't know your face, because a lot of you don't have your faces on YouTube, so I don't, I don't know you. So if you like, come introduce yourself, and I'd be more than glad to meet you, because there's a lot of cool people that I talk to, and I'd like to meet them. So uh, anyways, be sure to come find me, or find Dad Strength. He'll be out there, too. So we'll all be there. My dad will be there. I'll be there. Dad Strength will be there. So, uh, But the main goal is this, of this is to have fun, have a good time. Everybody stay safe, and uh, be a successful day. So, uh, anyways, uh, thank you for watching this episode of Dirt, Grain, Steel. I greatly appreciate it. 
make sure you follow my channel if you want to watch it because as of right now I guess we have 20 some tractors coming so and my uncle Jamie talked like he's gonna bring his 1370 case uh, with his six bottom behind it and uh, I've got a couple friends that I've rounded up I, I got on snapchat and I put the word out and there's a uh, guy from down by uh, uh, Royal Center that is potentially going to bring six internationals and six plows so that'll be cool if he shows up so uh but anyways thank you for watching greatly appreciate it like i said any questions comments or anything go ahead and contact me at 1574-806-4490 that's my number uh like i said if i don't answer leave me a voicemail send me a text do whatever you want to do so and that's the address and I should have wrote on here 9 o'clock Saturday morning. And if not Saturday, we're going to do it the day after. So, uh, and this is the 10th of April. So, anyways, I got to get to work today. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you give me a subscribe so you can follow this. Give me a like. I'd appreciate that too. And I will see you all in the next one.